For Kruma Media's policy, I'm Sane Damini. Joining me today is researcher and political analyst, Professor Raymond Satna, to discuss his column titled, Cyril Ramaphosa's resignation is not main issue. It is a tax on constitutional order. Welcome, Professor. Thank you very much. To refer to the independent panel investigating potential impeachment of President Cyril Ramaphosa being questioned by a leading scholars. Why is Ramaphosa remaining in office still an issue for you? I think that the legal arguments made by people like Pierre de Force and uh, possibly the ones being made by uh, Sir Ramaphosa in calling for a review are probably fairly sound. But I think that there were important issues relating to Pala Pala that remain unanswered. First of all, the significant, even if the uh, legalities of the panel report are held to be inadequate. They did find that he was not truthful. That's a very serious finding, mm. and I think it's important uh, not to brush that aside. Secondly, the Reserve Bank and SARS have not yet made their findings on Pala Pala, so it may well be that uh, the money came into the country on a basis that is unauthorized or illegal. We don't know mm. yet. We don't know whether tax was paid on the earnings, which meet the requirements of SARS. Mm. But why I wrote that article is because there was a statement of supporters of Ramaphosa saying, we've got the numbers. In other words, even if there is a case mm. that Sir Ramaphosa has to argue, they have got the numbers in Parliament to vote in support of him, and he doesn't have to worry. Now, I find that troubling because if, for example, there are questions that need to be answered by the president and have mm. not yet been answered, it's ethically not correct to say you've got the numbers, as if that's the main thing. Numbers mm. are just how many people are supporting him and who are hoping to have jobs and things like that. And mm. that, I think, is very troubling. And that is why I believe that the pala pala thing is not resolved and uh, people are trying to erase it without a proper investigation having been taken, having all the investigation is not completed. Is it not a valid point for people to refer to others in the African National Congress, including in leadership, having done worse things than President Ramaphosa? Why are you so critical of that, Professor? Well, this is what uh, Mondli Makanya referred to as whataboutism, that if you or if you are talking about apartheid Israel, then someone will say, what about the uh, Peru? What about that? And the thing is, the fact that someone has done things that are worse than Cyril Ramaphosa doesn't detract from the fact that if he has done something wrong, it mm. is a problem. You cannot answer an allegation against the president by saying others have done worse. If there is mm. a serious allegation against the president, the person who holds the highest office in the land, that must be investigated in good faith. And it mustn't be blurred by saying others have stolen millions and this was his own money that was hidden in the couch. So we mustn't uh, worry about it because it's not state money. The mm. issue really is, are the irregularities and the person who should be setting an example to everyone else must not be committing irregularities. So whether others do it is besides the point. In both of your articles, you refer to the need for people to get together to rescue the country and help it recover and set out on a new trajectory. How is that uh, to happen? Well, I've been saying this for a long time, but now others are 
saying it in a different way, like Archbishop Mahoba, uh, mm. the South African Council of Churches, and Mike Saluma, the deputy editor of the Sunday Times. And no one really spelled it out because when you're trying to build something new, you have to uh, connect different people to one another. And how you do that cannot be uh, elaborated in advance. You've got to listen to people. What are their concerns? Try and bring them together. And you may want to bring them together to achieve X or Y. Mm. They may believe that something else is more important. Education, for example, may be the most important thing for some people. Uh, violence may be the most important people for others. Homes may be the most important for some. Some may think you must have a political party straight away. Part of talking that needs to be done, and one's got to persuade the stakeholders to take part. Now, this week, a comrade of mine from way back, who's now in business, sent me something about the economy. And I said to him, you know, the problem with what you've sent me, I can't question the economic recommendations, but you don't say who is the agent to uh, remedy these problems in the economy. And by implication, mm. you are regarding the ANC and the ANC-led government as the agent. Now, what I think is important about these new calls is that they may include the ANC a and C, and I think they should, within some mm. new build-up, but they are looking beyond the ANC, and I think we've got to look beyond the ANC. How we do that has to be something that gets answered through experience. There was researcher and political analyst Professor Raymond Satna speaking to Krima Media's Polity about his column titled Cyril Ramaphosa's Resignation is Not Main Issue. It is a text on constitutional order.